Welcome, Saltos and Aerials, to your second class for our third week of gymnastics. So, for today's workout, we're gonna need your water bottle, make sure in a soft and safe area with under supervision, and then you're still gonna need a TheraBand, and then you have socks and shoes, or... And now we're going to run. Let's get those arms moving. Try to get on the balls of your feet, so almost like you're on your tippy toes. All right, and now high knees. Keep those arms going. And now butt kickers. Remember eyesight and pocket with those arms. Great work. All right, we're gonna pause, and now we're gonna warm up our arms. We're gonna go front to back and count one every time in the front, we'll do five. There'll be five on every arm swing on these. Now over the top. So the top arm's gonna reach behind your head across to your shoulder, and your front arm's gonna reach in front of your body to the opposite shoulder. Get those shoulders warmed up. And we're gonna reach up and circle forward five times. And then stop at the top, and then you're gonna go backwards. And after five, this drill's gonna be kind of tricky. We're gonna swing our arms in opposite directions. Start with your favorite arm. See if you can get it. And then after five, you're gonna, again, stop at the top and then try to switch directions. And now to your left. And sit up, arms up tall. And you're gonna reach up tall to the top and you're gonna do two circles going to your left first. Great work, and up tall. And now you're gonna go to your right. Great work. All right, feel that body getting warmed up and ready to go. All right, now we're gonna start with our first warm-up exercise. All right, guys, so we're gonna go back into our inchworms today. So today I want you to really challenge yourself when we go forward and backwards to see how low you can get. And this time, you're gonna try to hold it. See if you can get to three seconds, okay? Maybe five. Challenge yourself.
great work. All right, now we're gonna go backwards. Remember, five times. Every time you get to the bottom, try to see how low you can go and then see how long you can hold it. Remember, three to five seconds is a great place to start. And then feel free to challenge yourself as you move on past that. Great work, guys. All right, and we're gonna do our stretches. So again, we're gonna do our butterfly, diamond, pike, and then pancake three times. On the third round, you're gonna hold each one for five. All right, and now flex your feet, grab and pull, hold for five. And now straddle. And you're gonna go over the top to your left. Remember, hold for 10 on all of these. And over the top to your right. Remember to hold, keep stretching. down to your left and through the middle chest down to your right and back to your pancake this time we're gonna hold for 30 seconds Good work, guys. All right, and now we're gonna go into our Achilles stretch and our seal. So you're gonna get your feet together, slide them around, and you're gonna push up. 
into that Achilles stretch. And now you're gonna go to your cat stretch. And then you're gonna repeat. Remember this time you can alternate those legs if you want an extra stretch. Great work, guys. And now our shoulder stretch. Remember, pinkies as close as you can together, and slide those hips forward, keep going, and then once you get as deep as you can into your stretch, go ahead and hold. Great work. Alright, and now our splits. So straight leg on the right. And hold. Sit up tall, hip forward, and hold. All right, and now you're split. on the left straight leg. Reach forward and hold. And now you're gonna push your hip forward. Left leg split. Good, and now we're gonna move to our middle split. Really just try to settle into this one. I like to fight a lot in this one because it's the hardest one to get. So just keep relaxing, keep breathing, and let gravity do its work. Keep your legs tight though. All right, great work. And now we're gonna get into our drills. All right, we're gonna start with some high knee drills. So it's gonna start with a couple 
half raises, but if you notice when I bunch my toes up, it pushes me off. So make sure that you keep your toes relaxed. You'll notice how I pull them up when my heels lower down. So my shoes are off so you can see my ankles and toes and how they're working. Okay, now we're gonna start by bending our right knee as we lift our right heel up. Press up into releve. Lower down your right heel and bend your left knee and then lower your left heel. Okay, we're gonna do that sequence three times and then you're gonna reverse it. So then you'll start on your left. This is to help you feel the control of your muscles trading off work across your body. We're gonna go to the third level where you start with the same drill, but this time you point your foot till your toe comes up, okay? We're gonna do that five times on each leg, okay? And now you're gonna go a little bit quicker. Make sure to focus on the rhythm and control. Heel ball, toe, toe ball, heel, heel ball, toe, toe ball, heel. All right, and now just a little bit faster. You're gonna run. And the way to check it is to freeze in the high knee. See if you can control it. Heel should be flat on the bottom, toe should be pointed in the air. All right, now we're gonna travel down that line. So we have high knees up, See how many steps you can get in as you're going across. All right, and now we're gonna go backwards and forward. Same thing, see how many steps you can get in as you go backwards and forward. Remember, stay on those toes, toe ball, heel, heel ball, toe, toe ball, heel, heel ball, toe. All right, great work, guys. And we're gonna move on to our next drill. Okay, guys, so now we're gonna start with a drill for butt kickers. So for this drill, you're gonna need your TheraBand. If you notice, it's tied around my ankles, so make sure that you have it tight. Again, if you need an adult to help you, do so. But make sure it's not too tight because you're not moving your legs too far. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna lay on your stomach, keep your bottom tight, keep your core tight, and you really wanna focus on just bending at the knee. So you're gonna keep one leg straight and flex that foot, and you're gonna push through your heel and lift the working leg. Okay, so keep that, keep those hips down, try to keep your knee down, just use your hamstring to pull your foot up to your bottom. We're gonna do five on each side. and left side. Okay, now alternating. Five times each.
All right, great work, guys. You wanna really make sure you feel the hamstring moving and not just your feet moving. Keep the knees down every time you run. So now we're gonna stand up and try it. For this, you'll have to grab it if you have any extra dangly bits so you don't wanna trip over anything. And same thing, keep the knees down, lift those feet up. And we're gonna do five of these. All right, great work. And now we're gonna do our butt kickers. So same thing, we're gonna go four. Now try adding your arms. and then backwards. Great work guys, remember try to stay on your toes. Have some fun with it, show a big smile. All right, great work guys. Okay guys, for this drill, we're gonna work on skipping. Okay, so knees up, pushing off of one foot, okay. But the biggest thing you want to pay attention to is that you don't go forward. You want to make sure it goes up. So if we go forward, that's more like our hurdle. We don't want that. You want to make sure that you lunge and skip up. So reach as tall as you can and push through those toes like we just practiced, right? So opposite arms. Remember those high knees we did? You're going to try to put that same action into your skip. Let's see. But we're gonna start on the floor for this drill just to make it a little bit simpler. So here we go We're gonna start just like your lunge, right? Except you're gonna take your back knee to the ground Now again, I'm a lefty so I'm just gonna push up off that foot and bring my right knee up in front of me Okay, and then you're just gonna go to your right leg now and lift that knee up Okay, and we're gonna do five on each leg Okay, so now I put my right, put my left leg in front. Okay, and now we're gonna build on top of that. We're just gonna lunge and push up tall, as tall as we can. Cause that big push is what you want in all of your skips. Again, we're gonna do five of these. And then now on your right leg. Try to keep your body tight. Find that balance in your core. Reach up tall, even on the way down, keep stretching tall through your head. Great work, guys. Okay, so now let's go ahead and move right along into our skips. We're gonna go down the tape line. Remember, knees up, toes pointed, sharp arms. Let's try a couple times.
So if you need to, stop, check your body, and then switch it in place. And then go again, go forward and then backwards. I focus on skipping and then switching my arms as I step into the next phase. Alright, and then now we're gonna go back into our stretching. Great work, guys. We're gonna get those Achilles. Remember, we've done lots of running and jumping. So we're gonna make sure we stretch those out very nicely. Okay, and now bend each leg. Remember, three times. Hold for five. Again, we're working on splits and hip mobility, so we're going to end with our same hip mobility sequence. Challenge yourself, see if you can get a little bit lower, a little bit tighter. And if you want, just go ahead and hold those positions, okay? Great work, guys. Remember. Just find a nice position and rest into it. Great work. Okay guys, you made it through your second class. Good work, and we'll see you next time.